Ladies and gentlemen, this is Connor on Connor's Retribution Analysis. Uh, I'm able to get a game in amongst the chaos, which is going great, by the way. Um, I highly recommend becoming a parent. It is a ton of fun if you're kind of, I mean, it helps we're a little bit set up for it as prepared as we could be, but oh, it's, it, it's awesome. This is Borka 1 in Storm of the North against Abby to Shredder Spam. And um, we have six raiders there in the middle, mid unit, Valka's over on the left, got the um, tough lows, uh, uh, two units of bears right here and right there. Oh wait, that's Valka, sorry. Units of bears right here. Unit of champs is back there with the uh, sorcerer attachment and Scaldi. Earthborn, uh, Chronicler, Mauler, Scaldi, Stones, bam. And back there is the car keg carrier for Scaldi, but uh, he didn't even get pictured in this party. I'm sure he's feel. Oh, yep, there he is, way back there. Yep, cute little guy. My opponent goes first. Um, there's not really an advantage to sides, so I kind of give him the side that puts the terrain more on my side, so that way when he runs up, I'll have the option of fighting using the terrain rather than not using the terrain. And yeah, so my turn, I'm, uh, I'm a little tired, but my basic idea is this is a somewhat live scenario and he has methods of scoring decently. So I don't want to give him the whole reign of the map. He threats really far. So basically I set up a shredder wall here. He's medium base. So I try and space so that with his medium bases, he's going to get in the way of himself. And then I set up another shredder wall right here. And then not bef far behind that shredder wall, I put my rest of my dudes. And I put absolute, or I put a, I put Proteus who has Bracer just out of the Earthborn and Champions uh, 12 inch threat range with feet, stone, and um, yeah, they can just, they can get there. So yeah, I put him just out of there and I put Absalonia right behind him because Bracer will actually help her from getting slammed around from his feet since I have no clue what Borka wants feet really does. I see words like slam and boosted or additional dice on collateral damage rolls and two inches threat distance for those power attacks. Anyhow, it's probably going to be bad, but we'll, we'll just see what happens. And this is where I'm at. Oh, it was, sorry. It was 11 inch threat from the earthborn. So his turn, um, he, his entire plan is to kill these three shredders and mess them up with raiders and other stuff. Um, and then have a tough low slam this, uh, this dude, this, uh, shredder into the other shredder. So pretty much that all happens, but the shredder only goes one inch and I can't remember if it dies or not. And he does not pop feet, and he has mosh pit up, so my shredders are knocked down, the ones that are still alive up here on the front. And this is where he's at. So he's got a lot of board threat against me, but, um, oh, I forgot to mention, these sorceress and helians, I, there's only a couple of models in this game that their 8-inch sprays can actually damage, and he doesn't have any ranged attacks. Uh, so their value is somewhat lower. That being said, my thought is, is I can run it out here behind this house and have a great and easy way to contest in the back of that zone and be super annoying. This one I can run over here, and one of the only things I can spray is this Feral Geist, and it can also score that flag and contest. So that's my plan with them. Uh, it's pretty important, and I forgot to mention it. So I'm looking at this turn. Shredders with Absalonia 2, their speed 6. Uh, Alpha Hunter brings them to speed eight, so they charge 11 inches, and then with her feet, they have two inch uh, reach with flank, and her feet also makes them pal 12 with flank, and they charge for free. That's, so this, everything from here back, I can reach, which is ridiculous. Um, I don't quite realize it. <laughs> He definitely doesn't realize it. It's not. It wasn't something that just kind of pops out to us. But 
with flight being able to ignore intervening models when you declare charges and being able to just fly over the top of my own units and shredders basically being solos that I can activate independently. Um, I can easily just start removing pieces and digging deep digging. So I'm looking at this and I don't think I have the resources to dig out the earthborn and mauler and I don't want to trade, uh, Proteus into him, so I have two plays. I can take Proteus and I can get him over here and try and kill the Mauler and hope that the Earthborn and Champs don't kill Proteus or can't reach Proteus due to Shredders. Or I can take him and put him behind these trees, kill all the Tuffalos, and put myself in a threatening position. Um, I decide to do this. Four inch reach is really good for Proteus. And uh, just thinking about this turn, the goal of the turn is triple threat. I think I'm going to get a lot of attrition work done. So I want to threaten attrition, I want to threaten assassination, and I want to threaten uh, scenario. So my goal for that is I have solos and all the correct elements uh, to score all three of these flags. I can't get to his objective, and I can score my zone. That's a potential of four points. I'm going to try and set up to make that happen. The other thing... I can do is massive amounts of attrition where I just try and kill everything that's right here. Um, get some damage on the Earthborn, try and kill some champs and just sort of see what happens. I kind of am not sure what to expect out of Abby 2's feet turned with shredders, so we'll see. And then for assassination, the part of that is, is having a ton of shredders over in this area and putting Proteus right here. It's very easy for me to charge something around the forest and then have four inch reach on... Um, on Borka 1 and try and uh, kill him. Uh, and as Grievous Wounds, which is kind of nice, he goes to a Mat 9. Uh, without feet, he's only a POW 16, though. So that's not that great. But anyhow, so to make that happen, uh, Absalonia 2 charges that Raider over there, kills it, Repo's over here, pops feet. Um, <clears throat> chills out right here because I think this will give me a range of everywhere I want to be. And then shredders just start going nuts. Absolutely going nuts. And the easiest way to explain what happened this turn is just to go to the next slide. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I, I, I could not believe it. So I really wanted to kill this bear over here to score that scenario, but uh, or that score that flag, but unfortunately both of these shredders were outside of 12 of Abby. So they could they still benefit from her feet because it's currently, and they were currently in when the feet went off, and they still benefited from Alpha Hunter because Alpha Hunter is beginning their activations. So they got there, they hit the bear, but they couldn't buy attacks afterwards and they did not kill the bear. Um, so I did not score that flag. However, Dice went pretty good over here, and I killed two champions, which and all the other champions are on one box. They're around the objective, though, so they're going to heal up a little bit, but that's freaking fantastic. Scored that flag, scoring this zone. I got three points to his zero. I ran super hot. I put this behind the uh, house here because I doubt he's going to have the resources to deal with it, and it puts me in a good spot to contest later and possibly win the game on scenario. Uh, Proteus is here with Bracer up in a good threatening position where if uh, Borka ends up anywhere in this area, I can probably take a shot at him. So his turn is more or less um, kill a bunch of Shredders, run Feralgeist in here to be annoying, get the Bear Handlers in here to start beating on stuff and get in the way. Champions come up and just overtake and hose a lot of shredders. Um, Borko one comes up to here to kill shredders and pops feet. Earthborn Dire Troll tramples to right here, just hoses all the shredders. The trample attack gets boosted collateral damage, and there were a lot of 11 damage rolls on 13 box shredders, and that just lived by two. Or he another attack was required to finish him off. It just it for some reason it just always ended up being 11 damage, like every single hit it was kind of interesting. Um, I'm sure there's a statistical reason for that, but yeah, not going to look it up. Uh, Mauler also came up and got a lot of work done. And the basic, the end result is everything, if you just draw a line through the map right here, everything of mine that was on this side of it died. Um, 
and we have a thing that looks like this. So I, uh, I started my turn a little bit here. The shredder was not contesting in here. So I walked him in the zone. He did score his zone and I scored my zone making the score four to one. Now, Borka one is on a one camp right in front of me with arcane ward up and earth's blessing. So he can't be pulled and he's a 16, 19 under the stone. There's a feral geist and a bear here that are within four. I just need to score two points because the score is four to one. I'm going to score this point. I'm going to contest that. So I either need to score here, here, or here. And there's only a feral geist and only a bear right there. So if I was playing this turn correctly, I would try to go for the assassination. And if it didn't work, I would go for the scenario. That's what I would try to do. Um, Proteus is going to be a mat nine uh, POW 16 with seven attacks. So I need sevens to hit and then it's dice off three. Um, and I've got some shredders there for chip damage to help me out a little bit. So it's doable. I mean, it's not like, uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna happen for an assassination run, but I mean, it, it could. I'll probably miss, ha miss or hit half my attack, so I'll hit three or four times. Uh, he's got one transfer, and it's dice off three. So, yeah, it's not really probably going to happen. It's going to be largely dependent on what the Shredders can do um, after that. But <clears throat> for whatever dumb reason, I don't do that, and I'm overconfident in my, assassinate or in my scenario play. Um, and... I have Proteus come up and kill both of these bear handlers and bear. And then I get two spell martyrs right here in range of the feral geist. Um, <clears throat> and freaking, uh, actually, you know what would have been easy, even easier? I didn't see this, but I see it now is if Proteus had come over and just hose these champs right here, there's nothing within four of that flag except for, uh, Scaldi. Oh man, that would have been so much easier. I mean, what I did was really easy too. I had a lot of options, but anyhow, sprays eight needs a uh, seven to hit the feral guys misses. And then Absalonia, um, does two hex bolts needing boosted eights to hit the feral guys misses both of them. So I will not be scoring that flag. <laughs> <laughs> All these delicious wind conditions on the board, and I mess them all up. Oh my goodness, uh, it's so bad. Um, so yeah, this I'd like to say that um, it's because I'm tired. You know, I, I felt pretty fresh during this game, so I, I can't really use that excuse. But I'd like to. I take this sorcerer. So with that being said, now it's time to contest and be annoying. Uh, Forsaken comes up here, charge it, or doesn't charge, but does a Blight Bomb um, on the Mauler and Earthborn, and they have four and two Fury on them, respectively. And it actually does quite a bit of damage when you're rolling, like, six dice POW eights. Um, it was pretty cool. Sorceress flies over here, takes a free strike, misses the free strike, needing a, uh, what was it, I think a eight to hit, I think, because it's a six, it goes to an eight and I'm 14. So I needed a six to hit and I missed it, roll a five or something like that. Um, so it's back here. That's going to be really, really hard for him to dig out. These sh shredders um, over here run into the zone to contest and be annoying. And they also kill the stone attachment. I was dumb and didn't do any melee attacks with these shredders, but they could have easily gotten in and uh, probably killed some champions. And Absalonia just ran over to here to be safe and not get assassinated. Um, so that was a crappy turn, but I'm still okay. Uh, my first turn where I set up my triple threats was really good, and I'm still riding that high. So that being said, his turn is he's just going to kill some more stuff. <laughs> Scaldi's going to get on a much higher camp, and... Um, Champions are gonna mulch, or just gonna start mulching shredders. Earthborn, um, oh no, sorry. Scaldi, or uh, Borka comes up and kills a whole bunch of shredders. Earthborn, I think, gets rid of more shredders. And then champions charge Proteus in the back, kill this shredder, 
do some about half about 18 boxes of damage to Proteus. Um, comes over and screams at uh, uh, my sorceress and Helion with the uh, spray eight. Does not hit, and then gives these guys the stones uh, map buff, and they go in and they beat on some shredders and do good jam damage. Feral guy stays right there and continues to be annoying. Um, and we have a turn that looks like this. Score is still five to. Uh, uh, no, score is still four to one. Actually, no, maybe it's five to one now. Yeah, because I scored, I was able to score this, so that made it five to one. So I, I just need one point. So his turn, no one anywhere scores um, on his turn. I need to get one point. I have lots of ways of doing it. I can uh, kill all of these champions. Um, I can kill all those champions and score that zone. I can kill Scaldi with uh, Proteus. Um, Absalonia can charge and kill that Feral Geist and then Repo back into the zone. Or uh, And if I do that, it just gets the flag. So that's, I mean, that's the easiest one since she has magical weapons and like seven attacks. Um, one of those is going to connect with that little sucker. And that is, I think, what I do. I charge in there and kill the feral geist, or maybe I did a spray. I I can't remember which one I did, but the end result is I killed the feral geist, and this shredder right here is still contesting this zone, and the sorceress and Hillian still contesting that zone. And yeah, that that wins me the game right there. So, thank you for watching. Um, I want to go back and take a look at this turn right here, and swap it over to here. Shredders are freaking ridiculous if you give them what they want, I guess. And they go pretty far, so it can be hard not to give them what they want. Uh, flight's a pretty big deal. Two-inch reach is a big deal. Flank is a pretty big deal. Being mat nine, because they're mat five with Alpha Hunter, go to mat seven with flank, go to mat nine. It's pretty good. Um, they are 13-13s with 13 boxes, 13-13-13. But, I mean, it, that's also kind of nice. They... I mean, they sort of live depending on what's out there. I think this list is really allergic to uh, low pow guns that are accurate. Uh, think they'll just mow down a lot of shredders. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully everything is going well.